Hi Libras, welcome and welcome back to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into your reading and see what's going on with you all. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important messages for the sign of Libra. We have the Hermit card, then we have you coming out with the Empress card. So, the Two of Cups being at the bottom of the deck. A relationship, a connection, a soul tie. Because the five of pentacles is at, is underneath that with the three of cups. So you could be missing a certain someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Or this person could be missing you. Otherwise, I feel like you have been silent. You haven't been saying much lately. Um, you could be connected to a Virgo as well. You ready to move on? You ready to get away? You ready to take some type of action or create something new? Someone may have, have their eye on you as well. Uh, let's get more messages. Libra. The Three of Wands energy. I seen that card before even starting when I cut the deck. So uh waiting for something or someone to come towards you. We have a brand new beginning at the bottom of the deck, which is the full card, and then the strength card. Remaining true to something. Uh someone could be waiting on you or expecting you. Okay. You haven't been talking to a certain someone. This person has been waiting for you to reach out or for you to come through some way, some hell. People has been looking for you, wondering why you walked away, wondering why you left. Or, yeah, you left. Uh, you, right, you could have left unannounced. More messages. What's the hermit card? Or someone could have did that. Six of swords moving on. Silent, silently thinking about this. The hyphen at the bottom of the deck. A teaching or learning experience and then with the four of cups about rejecting something or someone or accepting less than pulling back from something thinking about moving on here i feel like you know you deserve something better or what's the empress card deserves to be treated better what's the empress the ten of pentacles abundance beautiful so i'm hearing something about math 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 mathematically uh whatever i guess that's you being strategic strategizing here uh Or well, someone could be going to school for something like that. Code and anything. So the Queen of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hanging Man. When it comes down to your emotional connections, you're ready for something to turn around. It seems like you have been stuck. What's the Three of Wands energy? More on the Three of Wands. The eight of eight of wands, action, communication. You remember I was saying something about someone's waiting for, or commu on communication from you, or vice versa. However, that is the higher from there at the bottom of the deck. I feel like it, you feel like you were guided to turn your back away from this situation. You dealt with it for a while. Kind of get more on the six of swords, ace of cups. You following your heart first, doing what's best for you. What's that six of swords energy? Moving away from what or towards? We have the king of wands. You could be. Yeah, you could be moving away from a, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Cups. Someone was not being honest. Someone tries to get away with something. Someone feels like they messed up. I feel like you found out or someone found out the Ace of Wands. Manifestation, the Two of Wands, taking a different approach and worried. So someone is worried or has been worried about trying to do something differently and trying to fix it or trying to figure out a different way. But it's like, maybe that's not the best way to do something. Like, you feel like you've lied to yourself trying to figure this out or trying to keep it together or keep going towards it. Mm, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. What's the King of Wands doing? What is that King of Wands doing? Emperor. This could be a father figure. This could be the father of someone's child. So, three of cups energy, the six of wands, ten of swords. So, betrayal, seven of cups, mixed emotions, judgment. So, it seems like someone made a judgment or, a, yeah, a judgment call on the situation. Like something was, uh, uh, <clears throat> something was uncertain, right? 
you couldn't be sure about how you felt in a situation or how this person felt okay so with this i had i see this ten of cups energy split and then that ten of swords energy is someone being betrayed in the midst where you felt like it was wish fulfillment and it wasn't so um i feel like a, a feminine energy hasn't been talking to a masculine energy and also if this is just one person someone has been um like if it's a feminine energy and this is just someone who has been sitting in their masculine energy it seems like you're going to be falling back more so on that energy, bringing in more balance and being more receptive. Other than that, this is it could be a mat, it could be it could be a man, right? <clears throat> that is um, that this person is not saying much, thinking about what they want to go towards and take action towards instead of um, taking action towards individuals <clears throat> where it wasn't, it didn't lead to wish fulfillment, but yet betrayal. What's the emperor card? Can I get more? Will of Fortune. Yeah, this person is looking for some type of change or turnaround in their life. It doesn't matter who it is. This is what I'm seeing. This is what a person is expecting. There's the death card and then the Will of Fortune. Closing something. Ending something. Ending a cycle. Bring it, bringing some type of change into your life. What's that Will of Fortune? Someone wants to do better or be better. We have the Tower card. So, um, <clears throat> Scorpio energy. Ten of Wands energy, burdens, and then the King of Swords. So someone knows that a situation is burdensome and that they're either being blocked or it's time to create boundaries towards whatever is causing the burdens. Uh, I'm telling you, you were trying to work it out. You were trying to fix it, and there was a whole lot of competition involved as well. What's the um, Tower card? So the more the combat fight, that's what I heard. So then we have the devil card that comes out right on top of the tower card. So something is being shifted. Some type of negativity or low vibrational energy is being shifted in your life. Tower down in your life. Out of your life. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and a Knight of Cups. There could have been a relationship that you were in or like you jumped into a relationship quickly. Or you moved in with someone quickly or... It could be any type of connection or relationship or I said something about soul tie that a person went head first into and then there has it has to be some type of learning lesson that a, someone has to learn a lesson here. What's the devil card? Capricorn energy, the eight of pentacles work. So someone could have been doing some type of lower vibrational work, dark magic type of energy, king of pentacles and the eight of swords, self-imposed imprisonment. Um, a, it could have something to do with your, your wealth. Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Hold on. I feel like someone was worried about something getting away from them. They could have something to do with finances. So someone ended up doing something like... Someone did like some lower vibrational work in order to try to control something some way, somehow. Can I get more on the Eight of Pentacles? Why are you showing that? Five of Swords is an argument winning at all costs. <clears throat> so it takes me back to that energy of like, I got to make this happen. I got to make this happen. Even when, even when it wasn't working out, that I would say a toxic masculinity energy came out. Trying to force something to happen, force something to work. And that's where like I would call dark magic came into place. Manipulating the energy. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Doing whatever you can trying to make something that uh, work. Look at the Three of Swords. That's your energy. And then we have burdens. This, is, this, be this became burdensome on you. Or to this person, however it is. Somebody end up getting their heart broken. <clears throat> or someone could have been intentionally trying to cause some hurt. What's the Three of Swords energy? Five of Swords and then the Page of Wands. Yeah, someone could have been intentionally trying to keep someone stuck or trapped. You stand, you, like, you being stuck on them, them being stuck on you. Someone wanted this to happen, a higher thing. At the bottom of the deck, though. Someone learns a lesson. Something, someone was accepting something or someone out of mature, immaturity. Can I get more on that Page of Wands? Seven of Cups and then the Six of Wands in reverse. Someone felt like they didn't re receive the victory that they, they, that they wanted. Well, someone was moving, was um, 
<clears throat> someone was moving out of low vibration. And that's why this became unsuccessful. And it's, it was stopped. Can I get more on this Ten of Pentacles energy with that Empress? Nine of Swords, Worry, Page of Pentacles. An offer or work or younger Capricorn towards Virgo energy. Wish fulfillment. Excuse me. Someone could be worried about a family. Someone's turning back on turning their back on this offer of long term, something long term. Someone turned their back on something that could have been long term because they something was behind the offer, I believe. What's the page of pentacles? Yeah, it was rejected. I said it. It was rejected. Someone decided to pull back, no longer invest. Uh, four of swords, two of swords, high priestess. Follow their intuition, pause, make a good judgment or decision to not do something here because something could have led to betrayal. Yeah. Someone realizes that it was a situation that was leading to betrayal. That was the lesson there. So I was trying to get someone to see. Uh, <clears throat> can I get some advice? Judgment. The justice card in reverse. We have the three of pentacles. I don't know which way it was trying to come out. The justice, you in reverse, and then we have the three of pentacles. Da, 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 da. Working on getting you right, first and foremost. We have the knight of wands with the knight, nine of pentacles. You're, you you taking action or taking some type of risk to do, risk, and doing something on your own. I'm seeing someone becoming more emotionally controlled or walking away from like an, um, a, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy and doing something on their own. What's this? Justice card in reverse as the advice. Why are you showing the justice card in reverse as the advice? The Nine of Swords. Maybe you felt like you were done wrongly. Wrong, yeah, you, you felt like you were done wrong. Or vice versa. Someone felt like you, were, you treated them wrongly. <sighs> How was, what is this? The advice, the advice, just discard and reverse the nine of swords, three of pentacles energy. I, 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 once again, I'm gonna say work on yourself and work on, you know, it's like um, um, traumas that have hasn't been dealt with. That's what I kind of feel there. The nine of cups, and then we have the sun card, happiness within oneself, confidence, and then a the hanging man feel like one being trapped by their emotions because of a connection from the past that you feel like you were alive. This person lied to you, wasn't being truthful. It was some dishonesty involved there. I feel like someone is worried about making the wrong decisions and um, treating people wrong some way, somehow. Like you working on that. And can I get more on that as the advice? Why are you showing this like that? The two of swords and then I kind of felt that. Wor you, you worried like... You worried about making a wrong decision as you move forward. Look at that. The two of swords and then a high priestess. So not seeing, feeling like you keep, feeling like you're not tapped in and in tune into your, uh, to your intuition because maybe someone feels like they're locked out or there's some type of financial insecurity at this moment that's feeling that that's causing you to feel like you're not, um, yeah, spiritually in tune at the moment, which what the heck is weird. This is weird. This is What's the high priestess? The two of pentacles. And then the nine of pentacles. I was just talking about that energy. This is also almost like understanding where you went wrong or went where a situation went wrong. Or like how things went awry. You, you understanding it, having a clear understanding about that. And even when things didn't go as expected, being able to continue to push forward, knowing your worth. That's what I'm going to say about that. I'm going to move forward, pull a message from the Goddess Power deck, and then we'll come back with another one for you all next time, right? Um, most important message for Lisa. I don't know. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck and walking away. Someone is walking away from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. And now I'm hearing I could do bad all by myself type of energy. Okay. Most important message for okay, most important message for Libra. Libra. Alright, here we go. I'm 
you're getting this energy like you feel like the person the people or the person that was supposed to do you right they did you wrong you thought you knew what was best and something was off whatever and that's crazy we have secrets at the bottom of the deck in reverse i didn't even pay attention to that and so after i said that and we have all right persephone at the bottom of the deck and experience in reverse let's read these messages and then get up out of here number 43 says the goddess persephone phony excuse me um the goddess persephone was forced to pay a high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions today she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags don't take a bite of the forbidden fruit unless you are willing to pay the price the alignment task offered to you by persephone is simple if you feel unsure about uh in any way about what is being offered to you? Step back and ask, do I have enough knowledge and strength to explore this without attachment to what lies ahead? If yes, jump in. If no, consider the wisdom of waiting. For this or something better now manifests for you in divine time. And don't fall for the seduction. It won't be worth the price. All right, let's go to number 40. In reverse, it says the goddess of the night, mystery and secrets. Nyx asks you to ask yourself a deep question about denial. What secrets have you kept from yourself could you be remaining in a relationship that isn't working for you because you won't address the fear of what will happen if you leave or do things differently have you been afraid to ask for what you need are you in an in a addictive spiral thinking one more bite of food or i feel like you all gotten this before or one more glass of wine will make you feel better whatever it is that you are refusing to face the goddess nix promises if you do you will be amazed at the beauty of your liberation and power she offers you this alignment test for you to engage in rigorous honesty and self evaluation coupled with a fierce self-love and commitment to growth be optimistic because the moment you are willing to the moment you are willing to name your unease your you claim your in your inner peace excuse me you all i'm gonna just re restart that sentence be optimistic because the moment you are willing to name your unease you claim your inner peace strength and hope you can do it okay so uh that was your reading libra i hope you all enjoyed that let me know down in the comments if it resonated how it resonated leave a like just all of that good stuff i love you all that love me and i'll see you all next time bye